Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 66 and the finale to my Regs Riches Eco Lifestyle Edition. And if you are returning, welcome back. And of course, we are on vacation with our family because they had completed all of their goals for the challenge. We, I thought we would take them to explore a little bit of Mount Kamarebi just to end this Let's Play. And we had gone for a hike in the last part and poor... Penelope got attacked by hornets so she's very dazed she also has to go to the bathroom so I have brought them all back home to well home to their like their rental home and I had edited this lot quite a lot at this point <laughs> and gradually edited it more and more and more and I had added a computer here so we are going to come in here and order adventure gear and we should be able to get something that helps you after the fact, which I haven't used yet. So, oh good, this is for the uh, burning poison stings of giant hornets. So it's 50 simoleons. And she's not even like, she's not so uh, <laughs> as bad as they said from wildlife encounter. So um, I tried using the laptop I brought with us. I tried placing it. There's, I had put a desk in the one bedroom and there are very limited options. You can buy seeds. Uh, you can lock the computer. And there's a couple of things, but they're very, very little that you can do with it. So let's take this and drink it. So, I mean, I can show you. Deidre didn't listen. Oh, and because we have the new scared emotion. So she's scared plus one. Her other mood lets her overpowering it. So it's like it can be dangerous out here from wildlife encounter. So she is got that. But, you know, it's okay. It's buried. And I think I noticed Finnegan. Yes, he has it too. I don't know if the others have it and you just didn't see it. Yeah. And our um <laughs> Connor was playful. I think he thought it was funny. But it's gone now because <laughs> I had him come here. I added some extra mirrors to the lot, among many other things that I've added to the lot to make it more family friendly, including a room downstairs for the toddlers. And we have some hungry Sims. He looks like he needs to, I kind of think we need to head over for a little bit to the onsen and then we can get a club gathering going and we can rally the troops. Uh, I had said that I thought we would take them to a hike not a hike try and do the mountain climbing expedition but i have since uh, um realized that to be able to have proper options for climbing the last hill the croft icefall you need to be level seven of rock climbing which our um connor is but i was going to take like the four of them like leave Deidre here to look after the toddlers and but there's no way Melody she's only level three and I th think Penelope may only be level oh she's actually pretty close so she could go both Penelope and Finnegan are, are six of rock climbing so they would probably need to get that skill a little bit higher before I would want to take them and they do have two days left of their vacation so I just wanted to sort of check in because we had left poor Penelope all days from the Hornets so I thought I would sort of show that that you can buy the deterrent and take it so that helps that go away and we have a couple of sims who were scared but that got overpowered and I think what I'll do is I'll play with them a little bit through the night and possibly take them over to the onsen, rally the troops, get them doing some climbing to see if they can get to level seven so that we can maybe see that expedition and I won't bother with taking Melody. Melody and Deidre can stay with the toddlers and if whichever, if Connor or Penelope get to level seven, then we will take the three of them or we'll take... um. So Connor, if Finnegan or Penelope gets to level seven, then they can go with their dad. Uh, if only one of them gets to level seven, then that's the one who will get to go with their dad. You do need two people to go on this expedition. So that's a thing. <laughs> we can't do it without two of them. So we need someone to get to level seven. So I will try and do that. And I will be back. Hopefully by the morning, we can go on a hike.
I said we'd be back when we were about to go on a mountain excursion, assuming we were going to go both Penelope and Finnegan got to level 7, and actually Connor got to level 8 of rock climbing. But what I thought we would do is just watch um, Finnegan do a little bit of skiing. I'm trying to see if we can get this perform high intensity skiing or snowboarding because I sent him on a hike. He encountered a spirit. I didn't actually even see it because I was busy concentrating on others, but it counted even though we didn't actually make a wish or anything like that on it. And while they were practicing their rock climbing, they got the do the three hours in a row. All three of them got that. So right now I've sent the other two off doing their own individual hikes in case they encounter a spirit. It's not obviously required. I've just thought, you know, while we were waiting for the morning, which it's almost here to try and do this hike, but I sent uh, Connor or Finnegan <laughs> to do this high, I'm trying to do high intensity skiing or snowboarding. I chose skiing because that is his weaker of the two. The only downside is if he injures himself, <laughs> I'll, I'll zoom out so we can see him. Oops. Never mind that. She found a for <laughs> the game had other ideas. So she found a forest spirit. Um again, I get this message. I don't I oftentimes when it brings me over to my Sims, it's not there, but it still counted it for the aspirations. So <laughs> I guess that's what matters. But yeah, I find that's quite common. So she can, I gave, I had her buy the things that if she gets attacked, she should be okay. That should prevent her from getting injured since obviously her logic isn't high enough. I got that for her because she could get attacked while we were, oh, there he is, caught in midair. I paused it because I wanted to be able to, let me like actually click on him and hit play <laughs> and see if we can watch him going down the hill. Since they're all pretty much ready to do this, I'm not going to focus on him, you know, performing this high intensity skiing and getting that done. I just thought the others were still working on their things, so I thought I would get him started, but I'm not going to focus on it. So I'm going to gather them up, or rally the troops, and then we're going to start the social event. So I will be back in a minute. Well, they all encountered spirits. I even saw Connors. I was trying to get him to make a wish, but they disappeared. He was going the opposite direction. So we are going to start this social event, which is under the social tab, plan a social event. So here we go. We're going to do a mountain excursion with goals. I think it is standard. I don't know that you, I've never tried doing it on a holiday. And I didn't book it as a holiday because it's Saturday, so that's good. So let's go to the next tab. And I am going to make Connor the excursion leader. And then the team members are going to be, of course, the two teens. And we're going to obviously start at our only spot we can start, where we already are. And there we go. So we are ready to go. So I'm going to like, so essentially, we're going to check his readiness then it's gonna come up i think it always this seems similar to when i've done it other times and he's i'm gonna follow him to where he goes over to the onsen uh, he's ready now we gotta check someone else's readiness but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have them meet up at the location where they have to do the climbing and we'll do that up there now we're gonna check the excursion members climbing readiness you only have to do that i think with the one i assume Unless we gotta check the other one. Let's try this and see. Uh, now we all need to climb. So I'm gonna have them just, they already have their gear on because they were already doing it before. So we're just gonna one time climb courageously, but I will actually first make sure they have, we're gonna rock climbing chalk hands and then rock climbing, do some pre-climb stretching. I'll have them all do that. So here they are doing that, chalking and stretching. And once they have done that, I'm going to have them all climb up. We will just one time climb normally in her case. We'll have Connor try climbing courageously. And Finnegan, he's adventurous. We're going to try a courageously for him, even though he has the same skill level. If anything, it's a little lower than Penelope's. But... We'll have them move along and uh, 
to get up to the top so we can get to the marker and move on. Well, actually, it says we can already move on before we even climb, but we're going to have them climb. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense to move on before we even climb. Alrighty, they're all at the top. Uh, I think Connor actually needs some social. <laughs> Hopefully he gets that a little bit along the way. But we are going to have them move on to the next location. So this is their first location done and we'll go to the second of three in total. I have to say I was a little concerned uh, when I loaded in and it's not, you know, it seemed a little dark, but I guess I've seen darker and there was some snow. I was concerned it was a blizzard, which I've experienced when I've been walking doing this. But in this case, it is just uh, sunny and freezing. So we need to have someone rest, which means there should be a tent somewhere here, all the way over here. Who is the most tired? None of them really. Do they really need to rest? Does anyone have a tent in their inventory? Because it occurred to me after we came that I don't know <laughs> that I brought a tent. Or if I did, that it's in any of their inventories, which it does not appear that they any of them have a tent. So back to who can sleep? Who is tired? Probably none of them. Because, <laughs> you know. Anyways, Penelope, your turn to sleep. <laughs> so I don't, someone climbed a wall already? I don't know. <laughs> you climbed it. You just climbed it all by yourself. Or did you fly up there? <laughs> I was not paying attention. So Penelope can maybe we'll try and see if she can fly to catch up. If she'll even sleep for the hour because she's not tired. And yeah, so oops, he had a little bit of uh, not a very graceful uh, landing with that broom. Definitely speeds things up. I really wonder whether you could just, apart from like we had to... I don't know if he climbed. I didn't tell him to climb. I kind of wonder if he flew up there. But I was concentrating on figuring out who was going to have a nap. So once he's finished that, we're going to have you... I was going to say... um, Rock climbing. Okay, see, I don't want to necessarily do these things because I'd like to leave it for the next step, to be honest. And there's a cool down period. So we're going to one time uh, climb courageously. And let's see. Oh, he's getting a little hungry. Let's see if he makes it up. And honestly, now that you're up there, Connor, why don't you head on over to the marker? You could fly there. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. And there is Finnegan making it up to the top. Still waiting for that hour to pass. Uh, go here. You're too close to fly. You must have it. You have a broom. You were using it. And then maybe when you're there, why don't you chat about favorite holds? You need some social, so it would be good. Um, so she has had that rest. So she can get up. And I'm just curious if she could just fly up here. Fly here. You don't need to. We don't need to take the time. We could have maybe brought their mom after all. Because she could have just flown. I was thinking she didn't have the ability to climb because she was too low. Um, so she's coming. Now, will it count? Don't do your homework. <laughs> What's with my teens doing their homework when they're on mountain climbing expeditions? They all <laughs> attempted at one time or other to do their homework. I don't know if my Sims from Snowy escaped it or not. I can't remember. Okay, so we got there and she didn't even have to climb. <laughs> She was able to use her broom. Good to know. If you have spellcasters, they can just fly up. But obviously, we need to have someone climb. But they don't all have to climb. So I am going to have them move on. And I'll be back when they get to the next spot. We're on the third leg. And we got the message that our leader, Rube leader, got the capable mountaineer trait. Which, once they get to the final spot, that'll be replaced with a different trait. I'm not going to... I'll show it. I won't read it. Uh, but there, essentially, it it means that they're better at going up Mount Kamarabi. And um, it'll be easier on next, ac next excursions and other outdoor activities. So, we need to have a sim eat something. Let's see. Who is the hungriest. You still need some social, so why don't we uh, 
ask about favorite author. I don't really want to do <laughs> things that are funny. Uh, Bright and Day. I think she actually is a bit, needs some social too, to be honest. We can banter with BFF. Uh, so he is more hungry than is, than is Connor. So the hungriest one, even though he's not a very hungry, is our Finnegan. So let's have Finnegan eat and she's doing her homework again. <laughs> I can see out of the corner of my eye because I'm like concentrating here. Why don't you eat some soybeans? So we can have someone eat. Whether we're going to be able to have someone climb courageously, I think you need to be higher than their skill levels to be able to climb this particular one courageously. Let's zoom out and get my bearings as to where this rock wall is. Okay. So they are here and the rock climbing wall is over here. And there is one of these bushes if someone had to go to the bathroom or have a nap in it. So we're going to have an inspect climbing conditions. Oh, and she's singing. For the first time, Eve too. So inspect. We'll let them all inspect. And we will see what the message is. We need to obviously have one. Oh, well, we don't probably have any Sims. I'd be curious if we flew them all up to the top, if that would count. Because like I said, I don't think any of them can climb courageously. Because if anyone can, it'll be Connor. Because uh, unless Finnegan, because of his trait, has more ability to do that. So we're going to have him chalk his hands and uh, do some pre-climb stretching. Just double checking. Yeah, he doesn't really, he could make an energy bar, but he doesn't really need to. So we're going to just see. And one time he can just do those. We're going to have him climb normally. Hopefully little Mitchell is okay. Because we can't really do anything. He's already, oh, we can bring him here? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um... Connor is looked after. Now you need to, you're inspecting also. So we're going to have you do um, chalking hands and essentially the same things. And then you're going to one time. Yeah, so you can't even climb. You can attempt to climb or climb cautiously. So his trait doesn't help him. His trait, i.e. that he is adventurous. Did I give him it? I think I gave him an adventurous when I aged him up. Yes, I did. I hope you look after yourself there. I kind of don't like that one. Like, when there's everything. I guess there's not really. The food is in his inventory. Hmm. So... I need you to come. There's no point inspecting. There's no, no point inspecting. And honestly, I don't know. We'll watch. We'll watch them do their climbs. I'm, I'm on, honestly thinking of just not having her have to, to climb. Because she could just fly up to the top. I just, oh, he's looked at. He's, he's not, he's not angry anymore. Oh, he's okay. I was a little bit concerned about our our Mitchell there, but he seems like he's doing okay, so that's good. I am going to bring them all up to the very top, assuming they make it, <laughs> which is my assumption. And and we have one day left, which is more than enough time. So we're just going to do a um, climb cautiously with her also when she's finished. We know she's going to get the same message that I expect she would get the same message that, uh, so she actually, he has a successful climb as high. Oh, I thought, I didn't think he would because he was, um, he would, didn't have the ability to climb courageously, but at least he had the ability to actually attempt the climb. I can't remember. Let's see. Let's see. No, climb, climb down. We can't see it because he's actually climbing right now. <laughs> Let's see. And then again, climb down. Yeah, I don't think we're going to climb down. We're trying to get up to the top. So one thing I had started to say, I think a couple of parts ago is like, as you know, this is the last going to be the last part. But what I'm planning on doing with this family is moving them into my Rex Richard Snowy escape save. So with the idea that probably Celeste will meet and hopefully Finnegan and Celeste will hit it off. And so that they would become a couple. 
Uh, and obviously, you know, when they got older, when they're not teens anymore, that they would get married and have a new boo and all that fun stuff. So we shall see how that goes, if that works out as I had hoped, bland. So they have made it up to the top. Yay. Everybody made it. Good. So let me see. Oh, it's finally is the very first time that I have actually had this open. I want to try this because it's always been frozen over for me every other time. So, um, hmm. So we can investigate the main tunnel, explore side tunnels, drink from the mountain spring, search for signs of past climbers or sleep, which we don't need to do. So let's explore side tunnels. I can, don't know if only one can go do it at a time. I'm not really sure. So, and you know what? You two are the ones who need the social. So why don't you chat with each other? You can uh, enthuse about new albums because you're a music lover. Uh, obsess about favorite video game and enthuse about interests. Talk about the sunny weather. It is actually kind of a nice day. Is that a plant? It is a blackberry bush. Oh, you can you can even harvest it. Oh, I we have black. I'm pretty sure they already have blackberries. Let's check. Not that it matters, but I'm curious now. There we go. They have blackberries. Okay, so they're busy socializing. So let's check in on Connor. Which he's he's in there. Of course, it's just a rabbit hole, an uniced rabbit hole. So we'll see what happens. It looks like he's almost done. So we'll see if we got a message or anything like that. So here we go. We'll let this pause. He kicks a gathered mound of snow and notices a few mail packages. It's a mystery as to how they ended up way up here. One package has a pair of orange and yellow wings bound in three blue rings. And he chooses not to open that package up, but he does open the other. And there's a nice new decorative item to take home. And... So he can continue to do that. So you could continue to do all of these things, which I have not had a chance in the past. So I'm going to have him do it again. Uh, so I'll be back once we got to get this uh, results. Okay, so I sent him in twice. The first one was he found a climber's journal and he got some tips from it. And tip one was make sure to secure your climbing journal. And then I sent him in the main cavern and in there he ended up getting this little doll which obviously can, it looks like it can hang on the wall and it's worth 50 simoleons. So not worth a lot, but kind of a nice little memento. And like I said, I haven't been able to get into this cave. It's always been iced over. So I thought it would be fun to send them. So let's make their way. Uh, we'll go here and I think they're further away. So they might be able to fly there. So we're going to fly there so we can get this actually done before the time runs out. I guess I should have had that done first so that... It didn't really matter. Why are they not? Okay, go here. It's not registering it. Okay, so now we have that registered. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to get a gold on here because of the fact that we weren't able to have a sim climb courageously. But oh well, we're going to move on to the next one, which is the final one where we're going to have a home for them all together and have a quick celebration all together. I'll be back. So they made it up to the top. Yay. And now his trait is capable mountaineer versus what he had before, which just seems to be very similar, but <laughs> whatever. And uh, we're going to bring everybody up here so they can celebrate in style. I'm just going to have to actually like bring them here and let's just check. Can we bring the toddlers there? Yes, we can. So they're in their swimsuits. I will get them all up to, to the house that I have placed up on here and uh, they can celebrate the rest of their vacation and we can see them in action there. So they're in the house. I did use to see the toddlers up here quickly because it's quite the hike from where they land to where the house is, i.e. the peak, and then the rest had to fly. And I thought we would end with a hot pot there's some food already made in the house from the sims who originally were in here when i built it which i have further edited it to be toddler kid pet friendly all those fun things so you may have seen this uh house 
when I got to the top, I used it in my other couple Let's Plays where they reached the top. But this, like I said, is further, <laughs> further edited because, of, of course, we had the cat with us who I brought. And uh, so there's, uh, I think, do we need to put some food out for the cat? I think we maybe do. But uh, hopefully the cat's okay right now. I don't know what the cat's doing over there. And everybody reset. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, it's looking windy and freezing right now. So they're nice and warm in the house. And now I see there's some food on. Uh, there's some some soybeans on the ground from all the food that was eaten. So they probably could just eat the food and whatnot. But essentially, they're having a nice vacation after and they're having a nice relax at the top of the mountain after the three of them climbed up here and we probably could have just had our melody come with them because she could have just flown for each spot so if you have spellcasters bring a broom because <laughs> then you can get to the top and they don't have to climb though of course for some of the steps at least one sim will have to climb but definitely makes it easier or just like I did, bring the rest along afterwards up to the top, which is a free buildable lot. If it wasn't, you could just enable free build, but you don't have to. You can easily place whatever you want. So you will see them again, at least for sure, Finnegan and the rest sort of in the background in my snowy escape rigs to riches let's play. But this is going to be it for this let's play. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.